search growing more desperate by the hour for two hikers missing in different areas of the San Gabriel Mountain. One of those hikers, a 65-year-old British actor and avid mountaineer, Julian Sands, seen on the left of your screen. He was reported missing one week ago after going for a hike in the Mount Baldy area. The man on your right is Bob Gregory. The Hawthorne man was reported missing after hiking near the Crystal Lake area. All week long, the changing weather conditions have impacted how each search has been conducted. Evidence of avalanches have been observed this week, limiting where ground search and rescue can go, but helicopter searches are continuing. And another hiker who found himself in danger on Mount Baldy on Friday, the same day Sands went missing, is home recovering from his injuries, lucky to be alive. I would assume reporter Amy Powell is live in Agora Hills with more on what he did to survive the treacherous conditions. Amy? And David, this 21-year-old, believes he was hiking in the same area where Julian Sands was hiking. Tonight, he's telling us the story of his own harrowing ordeal. He's badly bruised and still in a lot of pain, but Tax Sappington is recovering from injuries suffered during what turned into a life-threatening hike on Mount Baldy. I know I'm extremely blessed and fortunate to be alive after that. It happened last Friday. The 21-year-old and avid hiker was alone, hiking for the first time in the snow-covered Devil's Backbone area when he got stuck along a very steep, icy trail. I didn't have an ice axe or crampons or any of the, uh, a rope or a helmet or any of the equipment you really need for the conditions like that. He sat down and started trying to scoot down the mountainside, but fell several feet, landing on a narrow ledge. I looked down and it was pretty much just death on both sides if I, if I looked down, just much too steep to move. Tack called 911, a search and rescue helicopter arriving and spotting him on the ledge, a second helicopter coming a short time later. Unable to land, the deputies gave instructions over a loudspeaker, but he couldn't understand. The choppers left. Cold and worried they wouldn't return, Tack tried to climb but slipped and fell again. I remember seeing the rocks and trying not to hit them, and so I'd be facing the rocks during, like, while I was airborne, and before, and I would try to cover my head. He landed near a stream and was able to walk to an area where rescuers found him and took him to a hospital. Not many people come, very, very few people come back from something like that. Tech says he will go hiking again, but he'll make sure he has the proper equipment and he'll also probably go with a group. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.